you will remain poor for the rest of your lives. OPM General Overseer allegedly places a curse on happy boys for allegedly being ungrateful after he promised to sponsor their education in Cyprus. So guys, this is coming from the happy boys and also OPM General Overseer known as Apostle Chibuzo Kift Ugo Chinyere. I'll be giving you more insight on this particular gist but before I move on I want to use this opportunity to welcome you all back to my channel at the first center where we drop all the entertainment gist and gossips so to all my existing subscribers I want to say a very big thank you to all of you for subscribing to my channel and always tuning in to my channel for more infos and if this is your first time of hitting our channel please don't forget to click on that that subscription button subscribe like and also comment if you have anything to say as regarding to this particular post so I'll be getting to the gist in full the former chicken Republic security guys happy boys have disclosed that they have dropped out of school at Cyprus Recall that the general overseer of the Omega Power Ministry, Apostle Chibuzo, sponsored the Happy Boys to Cyprus in order for them to further their, their education after they were laid off at the workplace for dancing during work hours. However, in a post cited on their page, Happy Boys have disclosed that they were only sponsored to school for just six months and had to drop out of school since life in Cyprus was very expensive. According to them, they requested money from Apostle Chibuzo for their schooling but he said he was broke and did not have money to sponsor their scholarship. According to the boys, getting a job in Cyprus is really difficult for them. In a post, they captioned, we want to use this medium to thank each and every one of you out there, more especially my fans, family and Papa OPM who helped us fly abroad to school, which we are so grateful. After God used at Gospel Mill TV to show the world our imbued talent from God and we are forever grateful to look for God after us. Sustaining and providing for us for the past 8 months, which the scholarship lasted for only 6 months, and us who didn't come from rich homes dropped out from school because it's very hard for anyone to get a job here in Cyprus. Ask again at Cyprus, living in the country because so expensive, but God in heaven is seeing his children through. Let's love lead. We know, we know, go know. Now, my guys, this is something that posted, that was posted on the page of the Happy Boys, and they also disclosed that the scholarship given to them by Apostle Chibuzo only lasted for six months, and also also revealed that their house ha their house rent in Cyprus had already expired. After so much thought and going, the boys had allegedly gone out to the public to seek for support from different individuals because it has not really been easy for them at all coping in Cyprus. The cleric had enraged on his promises to sponsor their education. They claimed he took care of them for just six months after arriving in Cyprus and asked them to wait for another six months as he was having some challenges. They also alleged that they that they are still yet to get help after the six months of waiting. They further claimed that some of those on the same scholarship had dropped out while others from rich families have continued. The boys who are claiming that they've never spoken ill of Apostle Chinyere alleged that someone screen recorded a live section they had and sent to the clerk who got infuriated and accused them of trying to disgrace him. In the voice note he allegedly sent to them, the male voice which they claim belonged to the clerk prayed that they will remain poor in their lives and never amount to anything. The male voice also prayed that they will be pushed into selling even the clothes they wear in order to make ends meet. The happy boys also revealed that the OPM pastor who sponsored their trip to Cyprus to study for free 
have stopped giving them money and have dropped out of school. According to the screenshot on their conversation with the pastor, he claimed not to have money like before. In the screenshot, he also ignored most of their messages, which also revealed that where they begged him and also asked for money, but instead he told them that he did not have a lot of money. But also there came up another user on Facebook who is also a social media influencer known as Lucky Udu who said he just spoke with the OPM pastor and the OPM pastor said that when dollar went up things became very difficult and he couldn't sustain them. He advised them that is the happy boys to return to Nigerian University or he sends them to Ghana or Benin Republic to continue their education. The body became too much on him to bear, but they didn't understand nor listen. The man also revealed that he had too many responsibilities with over 4,000 students abroad. As we all know that Apostle Chibuzo is a philanthropist who normally sends people out and also help needy Nigerians in order for them to achieve their goals. He also sent the students to school and then the parents cater for their children. Unfortunately, not everyone can cope with such opportunity. Some will spend all their opportunity, opportunity thinking the man will provide everything for them. If their family can squeeze out something to sustain them, let them do so. I am not judging those boys, who, but before they left Nigeria, they were dressing decently, but after they left for Cyprus, they started dressing indecently and expensive when they know, when they fully know that they have no kobo compared to what the man of God can assist them with. I feel for them, Sha, but anyhow, those boys would have still at least try in as much as possible to cater for themselves. We know fully well that Cyprus or storing out of the country is not an easy task. Knowing fully well that they have no sponsor apart from the man of God to help them out with. But guys, what do you think concerning this thing? Do you think that this um happy boys would have just listened to the a man of god by coming back to nigeria or do you think that they should have just gotten a job no matter how many it is in order for them to sustain their lifestyle and continue their education in cyprus because i feel that the man of god did his own capacity and it is not easy at all at least he kicked off a career for them and they should be able to sustain it so i'll be waiting for you down in the comment section what do you have to say concerning this particular news so i believe you guys here thank you and god bless you have a nice day